Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. Post-fight reviews for Joseph Parker vs. Simon Keane and also Aslan Bekmakmadov vs. Junior Anthony Wright. So we'll start with the Joseph Parker fight first. As I expected, Simon Keane overmatched in this one. Joseph Parker with a speed and skill right from the outset. It was clear there was a gap between the two. And if Parker could, you know, set up his shots, he was going to have success. Early on, you know, he was taking some risks. He was standing in front of Keane, sometimes not moving his head. He was in particular looking for the left hook. Uh, but eventually... He decided in round three to start deploying the uppercut, the rarely seen Joseph Parker uppercut, which was a huge factor in his fights earlier in his career. And he deployed it very successfully. The first one, you could see that shook up Keane, something chronic. And then after that, a huge one lands. Simon Keane goes down, cannot beat a count. So Joseph Parker, he gets the win, stops and drops Simon Keane for the victory. So this fight largely played out as I expected because Simon Keane, since his loss in 2018 to Dylan Carmen, he did avenge that one, but he's looked pretty shaky. And as I said, ahead of the fight, a bit of a glass cannon there for the taking. He was there to be knocked out by someone who was going to come for him. And Joseph Parker said, yes, I will be that man. He gets the victory, advances to 29 and 4. Beautiful uppercuts. Uh, I, I think this was a horses for courses situation. Parker is not going to fight nearly as aggressive against someone who's more on his level. Simon Keane landed a few right hands and there was one or two I thought that looks like it's uh, shaken Parker up a little bit. But for the most part, Joseph Parker, the chin, it passed the test in this one. Doesn't look like it's been cracked to the point where he's got no chin left after Joe Joyce knocked him out. But uh, he was able to effectively pick up the first few rounds and then stop Simon Keane in the third so good win um, against a somewhat limited opponent a guy who's somewhere between the top 40 and top 60 as I said ahead of this fight we should have been having Joseph Parker versus Arslan Bekmakmadov not Joseph Parker versus Simon Keane and in that other fight moving to Arslan Bekmakmadov so this was all over in the first round uh, lickety split as we know, Arslan Bekmakmadov's got two main punches he likes to work through, right hand and right uppercut, and he put those to good effect in this one. Junior Anthony Wright tried to put up a valiant sort of, you know, um, effort early on, landed a couple of shots. Makhmadov, not troubled, just walked through it. Eventually, the right hands uh, and the right uppercut started landing, and uh, a left hook actually helped after right hand, right uppercut landed, helped send Junior Anthony Wright to the canvas. He beats the count, and uh, then another right hand land, almost stunning him to the point where he looked like he was out on his feet, and the referee had had seen enough he jumps in all over lickety split in round one so these fights as expected Makhmadov gets the stoppage and also Parker gets the stoppage here and I know some people didn't expect Parker to get the stoppage but at a certain level Joseph Parker can stop guys it's at world level where the power that he has cannot trouble some of the bigger names as we've seen through his career as soon as he gets to world level um, as soon as he got to world level level I should say the knockouts dried up but this against an opponent who's top 40 to top 60 Parker's got respectable enough power he can stop guys and as we know Makhmadov is just a tank who likes to come forward plenty of holes in his defense but he just will take something to dry you know pile drive someone into the ground with their right hand or right uppercut as we saw again I know some people will say um, Makhmadov had a good audience for this one but yeah sure but he's had some audiences before on some top ranked shows we actually need to see him in a meaningful fight now and some people are asking as well for Parker well what's next for him I saw someone in my comment section said that Parker's avoiding the big names the big names don't need Joseph Parker He's been through a who's who of the heavyweight division, got paid extremely well, and now he's considered sort of to be on the outside looking in. He's the one that's trying to 
work his way back in. But performances like this can help. He needs a bigger name, maybe against a Makhmanov, maybe against a Martin Bacoli, something of that ilk to really sort of force his way back into the conversation for those world level fights, you know, those um, title fights or the ones that are sort of the next step. This here is a high level stay busy to some extent. Um, the right fight for Makhmadov was just another wasted effort. It's a shame they couldn't get him a better opponent. Let's hope next time out both these guys are step up in quality, even if it's against each other. That would be an interesting and entertaining fight if Makhmadov and Parker were to face each other. Because Makhmadov is like Swiss cheese. There's so many um, holes in his defense. Parker would be having a field day. But at the same time, you know, you could have land a hundred punches, Makhmadov will then only have to land half a dozen to really start putting a dent in you. Anyway, good knockouts, good performances, it is what it is. Drop a comment loud and often, hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.